to the driller, bust the AP, yeah. Slide on the water like a jet ski, yeah. I'm tryna fuck you on your bestie, yeah. Chopper with the skull, so do not test me, yeah. Rick Flair, drip, go woo on a bitch. 5790, spit the coupe on my wrist. Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep tuning in. So I can make more videos comment at the bottom let me know what you want to see this is one of my workout videos all right guys this video is entitled how heavy should you lift for natural bodybuilding right trying to get right into the video first let me plug this in I'm Lloyd Fernandez a local real estate agent here in New York Lancaster Harrisburg Adams County in Hanover if you know anybody thinking about buying real estate or selling their home buying a home Send them my way, and I would love to help them make their dreams come true or get them where, they, where, where they're trying to get. All right, so again, this is one of my workout videos. So how heavy should you lift, right? I see this all the time. I see this uh, misguided misconception, this myth, this whatever you want to call it. But the problem is, is people are just replacing what they should do with saying, oh, I'm going to lift stupid heavy, right? I'm going to lift stupid heavy. They they think that that's going to give them the results they want, which it's not true. And yes, you need to lift heavy to grow the muscle after routinely working on that muscle, of course. But there's a limit to that. Not heavy to the point where you're going to catch in a hernia or you're like, I can barely move this. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, guys? So if you're at a point and you're, you're moving some weight that you could barely, barely move, that's too heavy. Okay? Let me tell you why. Because for you to be lifting something that's stupid heavy that you have to set, you have to do some type of movement to even get it to where you want to get it, eh, too heavy. Okay? You know what's going to happen to you? You're going to get an injury. You're going to get a hernia. And you ain't gonna be working out. And then you're gonna be messed up because you're injured and you can't work out. You're gonna miss weeks and you're gonna be like, man, it was better for me not to be stupid like that and be lifting crazy stupid heavy because I seen some dude on TV lifting stupid heavy weights and, and you know, I'm just copying. No, man, educate yourself, okay? Before you hurt yourself, you know what I mean? All right, guys. So when you're going out there and you lifting, I, I made a video that kind of touched on this, but I want to elaborate a little bit more in this video. You never, and I repeat, never <laughs> sacrifice your form, okay? So, if you're bench pressing, right? Your form, right? Boom. You're hitting this bench press, right? Boom. If you have to do any type of crazy movement, any one of these, to get that in, either put the weights down, you already hit your max on reps. So let's say you was at six and for you to get seven, you gotta do one of these, or you gotta do one of these, or you gotta, you know, done. Put the weights down. Don't keep going with that seventh rep. I'm telling you, you might not get hurt this time. You might not get hurt the next time. You might not get hurt that third time. But eventually, you're gonna catch an injury, bro. And you're going to be pissed. I'm telling you, you're going to be pissed because you ain't going to be able to work out. I'm dealing with a shoulder injury right now. It's not too severe and I'm working through it. It's like my second, third time hurting this shoulder. Why? Because I lifted too heavy. It always comes down to that. Um, but I'm getting better with, you know, following my own advice. Um, this shoulder still, it still, you know, hurts and I can't lift as heavy as I would like to. But I'm recovering and I'm, and I'm rehabbing it and I'm still lifting um, and I'm able to work through it. I know how to do different type of exercises that can still target my chest and shoulder without putting that injury in, um, in harm's way. But like I said, if you have to do any one of those movements, you're either done the reps or you're too heavy. If you grab those weights for the first time and you got to do one of these moves, don't even lift it. Say, put that down. I got to go lighter. Okay. Now. How many reps you should get in, that's a whole nother video because it depends where you're at. If you're bulking, call it, excuse me, bulking or cutting. And if if you watch my videos and you follow me, you know, I, I change my workout every three months, three to four months, and I change frequency. And I and I and also in, in that um, in that rotation, 
in the three months period, I change from heavy to medium to light. And I and I go back and forth on um, high reps to medium reps to like eight to 12. And then I go three to six when I go heavy. So, but again, when I say heavy, I'm going heavy enough that it's heavy, but I have to keep my form. If it's heavy to the point that I cannot keep my form, that is too heavy. And I really, really want you guys to understand this. And I really want to get this out there, especially to you younger guys out there. You know, listen, that's too heavy. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to pay for it eventually. And you're going to pay for it in the future. It's not worth it. And for you to lift that weight to and sacrifice your form just to get it up, you're not even doing anything to your muscle at that point. Because once you have to... If you're targeting the chest and it's so heavy that you got to do one of these movements, you know what that movement, what your natural body is doing? It's incorporating other muscles to support that chest muscle to lift it because it's too heavy. So now it's trying to incorporate your core and all this other stuff to get that rep in. And even if you got it up without harming yourself or injuring yourself, you did nothing good for that muff, excuse me, muscle because your body naturally incorporated other muscles that you aren't trying to work out that day to get that last rep in. So you're really doing it for nothing. Like I said, if you go heavy enough to hit your reps on strict form and if your last one you're struggling but you keep that form in you, that's a perfect heavy weight, um, heavy lift. Okay, my eyes? Do not... By no means sacrifice form. It's not worth it. One day in the gym versus, you know, your whole future. Like, really, what, what's worth it? Who's in the gym that's that important to sacrifice an injury or, or maybe even a permanent injury just to lift something a little bit more heavier than what you normally do? No, nobody, nothing. Okay, guys? So, how heavy should you lift? That's how heavy you should lift. Okay, guys? Um, depending on where you're at, like um, in the in your workout routine, because um, I, I like I said, I change my reps, and I do enough that when I do light, I do enough reps and enough weight that when I get to like 15, 20, that I'm struggling between 15 and 20. When I do mediocre and I'm doing um, eight to 12. I'm using a weight that I'm keeping my form, but I'm struggling when I get to eight to 12 in between there. I'm I'm struggling to keep my form to lift that weight. And then I'm putting it down when I can't keep the form anymore. And then when I'm going heavy, my three to six range, I'm keeping a weight that makes it hard for me that when I get to three to six, I'm struggling to keep my form and lift the weights. Once I got a sacrifice form, I'm putting it down. No go. It's not worth it. And it works because... Like I said, if you do that and you, you sacrifice form, it's too heavy. You're not even working that muscle that you want to work. You're wearing out biceps and you're, and you're doing one of these, you know, the, uh, you're putting your lower back in there now. Now, boom, what's going to happen? You, you're like, oh, yeah, I got those two last reps. And you're the man. No, you're not the man. You didn't even work your bicep those last two reps. You worked your bicep a little bit, but you worked your lower back now. So then you're wondering why you're at home and your lower back is kind of giving you pain. Like, I didn't even work my lower back. I did biceps today. No, you worked your lower back because you don't know how to work out. You don't know how to work out. So you're, you're, you're worried about impressing the people around you or impressing your weirdo self in front of the mirror. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. It's just not it's not, the, it's not the thing to do. I mean, you're doing this to look better. You're doing this to grow that muscle. Stop. Get this out of your head that you're trying to, you know, impress people with the number on that dumbbell, on that, on that bar, on that machine. Like, forget that. It's not about that. It's about what you're doing to yourself you're like an artist you're sculpting yourself you're painting this picture of yourself so you're making sure you keep that form when it gets tight don't sacrifice form go as much as you can with that form as soon as you can't no more in that form you're like ah, drop that weight and you show like i said you should also have a strategy on how many reps it should be to, to you get to that struggling point in different parts of your workout and that's a whole nother video i made another video so go watch that video so you can understand that and um, learn more and educate yourself on this. All right, guys? So again, how heavy should you lift? That's how heavy you should lift. Please comment, like, subscribe, share the video. If you want to see me um, make a video about anything else, comment at the bottom. 
Um, oh, and one more tip, All right, guys, one more tip. A lot of people overcompensate with this heavy lifting, like natural bodybuilders. They want to go, oh, and then they sacrifice form and stuff like that because they're thinking, well, this is, this is going to get me the results because they're lacking the results. You know, they've been working out. They got a little bit of results. But now they're getting to a point where it's like, I'm not seeing the results no more like I thought or like I was. So the thing is, they overcompensate that. They think they're going to they're gonna fix that problem by going heavier too heavy for themselves and they think they're gonna get the results that they've been seeking, but that's not the case. What the lack of knowledge and understanding is in, in, in these individuals is that you don't have your diet right. You're not eating enough. Your muscle is not gonna grow, like I just explained, by you lifting more heavy than you should to cause an injury. The reason you're not getting the results is because probably something in your diet is not correct. So don't go to the gym and try to load on more weight that you know you can't lift or you you have to struggle or, and sacrifice your form to lift that's going to cause an injury because you're not doing something with your diet, okay? Don't replace putting on weight to compensate for the fact that you're not eating right or doing your, your nutrition right. That's a very, very common mistake I see a lot of people working out do. They're going to they think they're going to correct their nutrition problem or the fact that they're not eating enough or the fact that they're not eating right by doing something extra that's not right that's going to cause an injury at the gym it's never going to happen all you're going to do is hurt yourself and even if you don't hurt yourself and and you do it that way it's still not going to get you the results you're looking for because it's like i just explained it's you're not even working that muscle you incorporate other muscles your body naturally does that and you're never going to be able to put what you need, which is in the nutrition, to be able to get to the next level when you're working out. All right, guys. All right, last tip. That was the end. Video is getting a little too long. I don't like it to go too long. We're about to be at 12 minutes. So like, comment, subscribe, share. Again, I'm a local real estate agent here in York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, and Adams County, Hanover area. If you know anybody looking to buy or sell a home, send them my way. If you want to see a video, comment at the bottom and I'll make it. All right, guys. I wish you luck. I wish you success. And I wish you good health. Bye-bye.